After over 10 years of running, way over 10,000 miles, several dozen races with hopefully much more to come, here are five things I wish I knew before I started running. Number one would be a little saying that goes like this, look pro, go slow. That's something I definitely didn't do at the beginning of my running career. My freshman year in high school, I always tried to run with the varsity boys. Their pace for runs and workouts were way too fast for me, but I'd go for it anyway. Instead of going at a more manageable pace for the same distance, I'd try to hold that fast pace and bonk halfway through the workout and have to slow way down. In the beginning, go slow. There's no need to rush things. Focus on more mileage, not faster runs. I believe I would have improved much faster as a newbie if I would have just slowed down and worked more on volume. There's no need to rush. Good things take some time. <clears throat> Number two, take time to let your body adapt. People give up on running way too quickly. You're not gonna become a savvy runner in one day, a week, a month, or even longer. It's the same with anything. The first time you go bowling or golfing, are you gonna be a pro in dominating other people? Of course not. A lot of people say, oh, I tried running, but I'm literally so bad at it. Give it time, give it patience. You have to let your body get up that initial uphill battle. Put in the work, and before you know it, you'll have adapted. You might even get excited to start running every day instead of dreading lacing up the shoes to get in that workout. Don't give up so quickly if you actually want something. Take the time to work at it. Number three, ask yourself what your goals are and how seriously you want to take them. It might be easy to start running without an initial goal, but after the grind starts to wear you down, having something to work towards might be the difference between you falling off the horse and staying on track. It can be a general goal for your overall health and fitness, or it can be very specific. I want to break three hours in the marathon. Or maybe you'll have a goal of frequency. I want to run three days every single week, week in, week out. My first cross country season, I didn't really have any set goals for myself. I just kind of ran and trained with the team and when race day came, I raced. But when track came around, there was a huge mentality switch. Breaking five in the mile. It became my main focus. Every workout, run, core exercise. It was all to break that elusive five minute barrier. It didn't make running any easier, but it gave me a reason to show up day in and day out with a drive to do the absolute best I could. And having a goal can do that same thing for you. Number four, invest in what you need, not what you don't. A good pair of running shoes? Absolutely. The fanciest hydration vest or nicest GPS watch? Mm, probably not. Strava to record and show off how fast you are to other local runners? Well, maybe. My point is you don't need a ton to get started. That's one of the great things about running. Get yourself the basics first and actually start running before you get caught up in the world of gear. Over time, you'll figure out what you need and what you don't. Put those shoes on, grab your phone if you wanna track the miles and start hustling. And last but not least, number five, run how you want to, not how someone else tells you. Pretty ironic considering this is a video of me telling you what to do and what not to do, right? But look, if there are parts you love about running and parts you don't love so much, stick with the things that you love. Now, of course, there might be some things that you have to do even if they're not your favorite, like getting in a good warm up before a run, but really, there are no specific rules that you absolutely need to follow. Don't like running alone? Find your local running club and reach out to others. Not a morning runner? Go for that post-work run at golden hour or even a calming night run. There's gonna be parts about running that you might not be thrilled about. Heck, sometimes for me, even the run itself is something I don't look forward to on some days. But knowing that I'm building my fitness and brick by brick becoming a better athlete, that's what gets me excited. That's what gets me out the door every single day. And you know, maybe you tried running for several months and you realize that it's not your thing. You don't like it. You don't enjoy it as much as other people do or as much as you thought you might. And that's fine. Move on to something else and find out what you love. Hopefully you found a few of these helpful for you on your running journey. Please like the video if you enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching. As always, be good humans, do good things, search for happiness. Peace.